Now then, to make our apple cider mead, or as some would have it, apple cider, we're going to be using the following. I've got one gallon of 100% apple cider with no preservatives. We're going to be using three cups, or 48 ounces, or 1,361 grams of raw clover honey. We will be using the juice of one quarter of a lemon. Now the lemon juice is going to act as our acid blend substitute. This time around, we're going to be using bread yeast only, and we are going to need a half a teaspoon of bread yeast, one quarter of a teaspoon for our fermentation, and one quarter of a teaspoon as are going to be used as our yeast nutrient. We will need a one gallon carboy, or jug, demijohn, take your pick, to perform primary fermentation in. And it would be helpful if we had a second jug, carboy, demijohn, so that we can actually rack into it about six to eight weeks' time to continue on with bulk aging. It would be most helpful if we had an airlock with bung to fit into our carboys. Basically, again, the airlock is designed to let CO2 escape without building up pressure and keep bugs from getting in. For those of you who have them, a hydrometer with testing tube will be helpful. It will let us know basically what our starting gravity is, which is basically how much sugar our, our must contains, and at the end of the process, how much sugar remains. Quick calculation will help us determine what our alcohol by volume is going to be. And as I always like to say, last but certainly not least, using your food grade sanitizer of choice, whether it's One Step or Star Sense, we want to make sure that all of our equipment has been properly cleaned and sanitized. And that is what we're going to be using to make this apple cider mead apple cider sizer. Now we need to pour off some of our apple cider to make room for the honey that we're going to put in. You're going to see me pour about three and a half cups. Now in hindsight, that should really be four cups. And you'll probably see why later. Now with our freshly sanitized carboy and funnel, we're going to go ahead and pour in our slightly warm honey. And again, I'll rinse this out and add it to the mix later on. Okay, with that having been done, let's go ahead and add in some of our apple cider. And a little bit more. I don't want to add it all in because we now need to mix in our honey with our cider. So hopefully if you have kept your caps, if you have any, we're going to go ahead and begin the process of shaking this up. All right. And with that having been done, we can now go ahead and add in the rest of our cider. Being careful not to let it overflow. And put our cap back on. And move on to the next step. All right, remember the apple cider that we poured off that we were going to use for a yeast nutrient? Instead, we're not going to use that. We're going to use some of our mixed apple cider honey instead. So let's just pour off some of that since we know that this is almost full. And we'll go ahead and begin the process of making our yeast nutrient. 
Now, in preparing our yeast nutrient, again, we only need, in my case, a quarter of a teaspoon of, of yeast. That's bread yeast. That's a quarter of a teaspoon. We'll go ahead and add that in. And since in order to act as a yeast nutrient, the yeast itself needs to be in a inactive or let's just say dead state for the live yeast to cannibalize on, we need to go ahead and heat this up beyond the temperature in which the yeast can survive. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the microwave. Okay, in this oven, I really did need a full two minutes, but it's been bubbly and it's now nice and hot. Okay, let's go ahead and add in our yeast nutrient substitute. And since I have the opportunity, let's just go ahead and Shake that up a bit. And now let's get ready to add in our yeast. Now before adding in our yeast, I'm gonna go ahead and do two things. One, I wanna close that little head space that I've got here to about half as much using some of the leftover juice. Oh, yay, hi. Let's go ahead and add in our lemon, which is acting again as our acid blend substitute, giving us one of the three acids that we need. Now, again, we really don't need to be precise. This is not measured out to the nearest gram or whatever. It's just a a decent squeeze is all you need. I mean, you don't need to scrape it off or anything like that. Just a good squeeze. And it looks like that initial hydrometer reading is coming in at a healthy 1.120. It is now time to begin the process of turning our honey sweetened apple cider into wine. To do that, we need yeast. Once again, I'm only going to be using a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. Just, I find all that I really need. And you can, of course, bloom the yeast if you prefer. But I generally just tend to get it in there. Try not to just dump it all in one spot. And because I've got a fair amount of yeast floating on the sides here, I'll go ahead and put my cap back on. And I'm just going to go ahead and try and get that incorporated into the mix. So what we need to do now is put on our airlock. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of filling the airlock up to the, with liquid up to the mark. I'm using a combination of just star sand and water. Yeah, let's just go ahead and squeeze that in. Now that one of the last things we need to do for this part of the operation is to label our creation. We are making an apple cider mead, also known as a sizer. We started it on this date, 11-19-2022, and our starting gravity was 1.120. Okay, this is just the start of a fairly lengthy process, because what's going to happen after this is going to be something like this. In about, oh, I don't know, six to eight weeks or so, I will probably rack this for the first time, which is basically transferring it from this container into that second carboy. And that's simply due to the fact that over time, a lot of dead lease or yeast is going to accumulate on the bottom. And I kind of want to try and keep it uh, off as much of that as possible. So I'll transfer everything above that layer into another container. And we'll continue to do that process periodically until I think the wine is either clear or ready. 
usually takes for me, I pick an arbitrary number, 12 months. 12 months from now, we'll have a tasting of our apple cider mead to find out where things stand. Was it worth the effort? So until then, if you like to see here, please click on that subscribe and notify button, become a member, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, it's been a year, 364 days, uh, since we started making this apple cider mead, of course, as usual, it's gone through the process with one exception. Uh, it's been uh, degassed, although it wasn't necessary. It's not, it's been uh, back sweetened. No, that wasn't necessary. Uh, born on 11-19-2022. Uh, and since it was not back sweetened, it didn't need to be pasteurized. So, as I'm fond of saying in this case, with one modification, it's not been pasteurized. All right, so apple cider meat, of course, I mean, yeah, it's gone clear. Plain and simple. Uh, for those of you who, who are using bentonite or whatever to clarify your wounds and needs, it wasn't necessary in this particular case. Time did the trick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one real quick. Oh, I almost forgot. ABV came in at 12.08%, which is fine because I just got off of what is now considered work and quite honestly, I couldn't use a glass of wine or two <laughs> before turning in. Watch level two. Unfortunately, there's nothing on TV worth watching. Everything is pretty much gone and ended their season finality. Comes off every day. Um, but all that aside, here we go. Um, I don't know really what else to say. I mean, we know what, ap what apple juice tastes like. We know what apple cider tastes like. We know that apple cider has got more of a cloudy, more cinnamon-esque uh, um, appearance and taste to it. Whether or not any of that translated, um, whether or not any of that uh, translated or transferred it to the final batch, I do not do know. It was bottled. When did I bottle this? A month ago, I think. It's been so long. Uh, but that having been said, what does it taste like? I was like apple juice. It's got a very, very sudden burn as it goes down. It's only 12% alcohol, so it's really not much of it. Um, Between the apple mead, apple wine, and uh, this apple cider mead, there's a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, it, what in my appearance, or what I've it's look the class, the closeness. I I can't even say the word. What is the word I want to use? Close, closeness, closeness. That's the one I want to use. The closest approximation, and I can come with it. Um, would probably be it's 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 very similar to apple wine. It's got more of a body to it than than apple wine, and more what what we would expect with a mean. Um, uh, the honey character, and I just used uh, if memory serves me correct, just regular uh, clover honey. Your 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 basic generic Walmart honey. Okay, try to keep things on the grocery store level. Um, did it splurge on the honey? It's not like the one took orchard and had been fresh, fresh apple cider for or anything like that. <laughs> Someday, maybe, but it's not, it's not in the plants. It's smooth, but would I give this more time? I'm not going to give this particular bottle more time. I can assure you of that. But as far as the remaining four bottles, I'm thinking another six months, maybe to a year, uh, might really do it some proper justice. Uh, I think it's good, quite honestly, uh, as is, but
Yeah, I do it in over six months. Um, call, looking at my notes here. Uh, and the notes are on most of my bottles basically will translate to as as such. I'll probably I'll get I'll do an enlargement and put it somewhere. Uh, basically, it's the date that I started making it, or the date that I actually put in the yeast and started really turning it into wine. Uh, the final ABV. Uh, you saw the original ABV uh, uh, at the beginning of the of this video. Uh, since it was not back sweetened, uh, it did come up with a final gravity reading of 1.028. Uh, for those of you who want to try to translate what I consider to be sweetness into uh, into a uh, hydrometer reading, and of course, it was not pasteurized. These are the little fine print notes that I usually put on my on my Y labels. Uh, but apart from that, I mean it's. I think I've said this before when I'm done apple wine, apple meat videos. It's kind of hard to mess up an apple, an apple wine or an apple meat. <laughs> you got to really work at it to mess it up. Uh, but this one turned out fine, uh, quite honestly. Uh, so far, I've had a string of wines that have turned out okay. That I have not had the, uh, 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 have not found it necessary to uh, after doing the tasting to, uh, uh, let's just say. Uh, properly dispose of the remaining four bottles. <laughs> I've got a sink over there. That's just fine for that sort of thing. Um, but no, this one is okay. This is not bad at all. Yeah. Yep, after coming at home after hard days of work, quite really, if, or frankly, it really has been days of hard work, um, this, this would hit the spot. So, keeping it short, there we go. Uh, my take on making an apple cider mead. Uh, no real adjustments in the, in the recipe. And in fact, if I had to make out an optional adjustment, uh, would probably drop in a cinnamon stick or two during primary, uh, just to give it more of a cinnamon flavor. But uh, no, it turned out quite well. Uh, I will probably add the uh, cinnamon stick uh, as an option in the ingredients list uh, in the description section of the video. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Apple cider lean with minor adjustment, adding that cinnamon stick. There we go. I wonder if you can add the cinnamon stick in the glass. I wonder if that would work. It might. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, again, if you like what you see here, please click on that like and subscribe button. You know, become a member, uh, become a Patreon. Uh, it helps us channel out. And I will see you in the next video. It really has been a hard day at work today. Trust me. All right. I'll see you later.